Hello everybody and welcome back to Motion Nightingale and Sneaky Sasquatch. In today's video, we're just about to do a few things. First of all, I want to try to take out that billboard because as you guys have seen, it's actually taking money from, uh, from my account every single day. Let me go with this. Actually, no. Let me go with the animal channel here. Or maybe the nature channel. Let's just leave this on. I mean, look at that. That is so epic. I've always really enjoyed drone shots. <laughs> it looks really it looks really weird on this uh, screen though, but uh, anyway, so as I was saying, let me go ahead and call, uh, what was it? I think it was 555 to 450, if I'm not mistaken. I want to cancel that subscription, right, for the ads. 555, uh, was it to 450 or, I don't know, let's go with 2450. 24 and 15, call. Hopefully it is 2450, because I want to cancel that subscription. Right, it is, it is, it is. Uh, okay, and cancel, yes. All right, perfect, canceled, awesome. All right, that is exactly what I wanted to do. Now, before we go to do anything else, of course, I do want to jump into my computer. I want to try to play a little bit of uh, games here and see how that works. Oh, I just noticed that I have some candy inside my shelf. Hmm, uh, I want to I wanna sit on the computer though. There we go, buddy. Oh, man, what computer is this one though? <laughs> Look at that, we got Pentium. Uh, what about the schedule? Of course, oh, actually, never mind. We do have a schedule because let's not forget, we still work at the R Corp, right? Uh, although I haven't been at the R Corp and doing any work in the longest time ever, we still work there. And of course, we still have to do the job. Now, how do I exit? How do I exit this? Um, um, hold up. Oh, never mind. We got to go to menu, quit. All right, and let's go with, uh, actually, hold up. Before I go there, do we have anything in the trash? Nope, nothing in the trash. Oh, we can move icons around? Are you kidding me? That is something I never expected. What the heck? <laughs> Definitely did not expect that. Anyway, let's go with Solitaire. Now, let me tell you guys, ever since I was a kid, I do remember playing a lot of Solitaire back in the days in the uh, on the old computers. And I absolutely love playing those games. Uh, Solitaire, it's not really a really difficult game, but it's really depending on the type of cards you're getting. It can get very difficult if you're not lucky. Alright, that's a three. Look at that, we're just getting black cards here. We cannot really combine anything at the moment. Uh, cannot put that anywhere. Uh, we can put this one here. Alright. We got a seven, but it's black. We need a red one. It's a six. That's a, uh, actually, we can put this one here. There we go. Nothing for that, and nothing for this one. Man! Right, finally. Right, there we go. Perfect. Getting some things moving. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to move this one over there. Perfect. Do that. And that's gonna be a little bit it for now. All right. Uh, eight. It's gonna go here. That's gonna go. Come here, come here, buddy. What are you doing? Right over here. This one's gonna sit here. All right. Four. Uh, actually, this one can go there. And the nine can sit there while eight goes over. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we just need to unlock two more places here and we should be good. At the same time, we gotta start removing these ones eventually. Let me put that two over there while we're at it. Eight, we don't need it just yet. Uh, ten goes here. All right, so we have an empty spot for a uh, king, if I'm going to be able to find one, I guess. That's going to be a four. Ugh, my puppy is also hungry, dude. Hold up, you know what? I wonder, what if I quit and go back? Ah, so we are going back exactly where you left off. Never mind. In that case, I can go ahead and feed my puppy here for a second. Hold up, buddy. I want to feed you. Well, I also grab your poop, of course. Uh, let me also give him a... Actually, we cannot give him that. But do I have any food for him? Man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give him this then. There you go, buddy. Good boy. While we're at it, I'm also gonna go ahead and eat something myself. To try to, uh, be able to keep on doing this. And I think I'm also gonna eat that trash food. Can I grab it? There we go, buddy. <laughs> I wonder if in the future we're gonna have something like, I don't know, getting, uh, poisoned by the trash food that we're eating. That would be really interesting. All right, let's see. So, let's carry on where we left off. I love it that this is not gonna end though. You can actually carry on where you left off. That's really good. Uh, we cannot do anything about that one, unfortunately. There we go, we got this one. 
The question is, I think I may want a black one, a black king, to be able to put the queen on top, right? There we go. That's exactly what I needed. All right. Um, hmm. We got a black nine, a five, but I cannot place it anywhere, and a queen, but again, I cannot place it anywhere. Hmm. Seriously, game? Is it seriously going to mess me up again? Hold on a minute. I don't want to lose again. So that's going to be a three. It's going to sit on there. And a two on top of it. Perfect. That's a four, but I cannot place it anywhere. Mm. That's ten. Perfect. All right, all right. Finally, we're getting things moving on. So that's a five. I can place it on top of six over here. Three goes here. This goes here. And finally, there we go. All right. I think we are going to win this very soon. Uh, all I need is another one of those kings, and we should be good. That goes there. Seven goes on A, but I don't have it. Hmm. All right. So we got the king. Man, it's already 9 p.m., 9.50. We got to pay attention. I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want to faint. Uh, you know what? While we add it, let me also get rid of that. Let's also get rid of uh, that and that. And... Yeah, I guess that should be good. There we go. The five goes here. Uh, this one's going to be... Actually, no. This one goes here. There we go. Um... Five goes here, the nine goes here. I think all I need is one more queen, and we should be all good. All right, there we go. I think I won. There we go, buddy. Perfect. Finally. As I was saying, it's not really that difficult to play this game. It just takes um, a bit of time. A bit of patience, I guess. To wait for the proper cards to show up. Uh, let me put the four in there. Five also goes in here. Six goes in here. There we go. I don't remember if back in the days there was a button that would allow you to automatically end the game once you already knew you won it, right? I mean, at the moment, we know 100% sure that we already won this. Uh, no, nope. we need an eight over there. Let's go do that. Let's also go do... Actually, we need a seven... There we go. Come on, buddy. That's going to be a seven over here. And we won. Of course we won. This was pretty easy. But again, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that we are going to come across some levels that are definitely going to cause some trouble for us. And we're not going to be able to win as easily. Wait, is there another car missing anywhere? I don't think so, no. I think we're good. <laughs> Look at that. Easy. Perfect. This one here and this one. Oh, uh, and I just won before I fainted. Oh, <laughs> uh, no way. They even added the animation that we saw back in the days when we used to play the solitaire game. I love this. This is so fun. Man, I really hope that in the future we are going to be able to get ourselves like an update, right? Or something. And we're going to be able to hopefully uh, be able to install more games into the system, into the computer. Because that will be even more fun. I would absolutely love to see that happening. Alright, anyway, a brand new day has started. Let me see if we have more stuff to eat. Because we know that we don't really have that much stuff in our backpack, right? So we are going to definitely have to go ahead and start getting ourselves more things. Let me grab this one for me. And also, let me give my puppy one as well. Why not? Uh, I see that my puppy has an avocado. He's definitely not going to eat that. So because of that, I'm going to give you, buddy... Come on, hold up. I want to give you the bacon. There we go, buddy. Good job. All right, let's keep it going then. Let's see what else we can do today. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is a new thing that has been introduced in the game, right? Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, as I was saying, the developer said something about in the town... But uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm supposed to look in town because if I'm not mistaken, I've already looked everywhere in town and I haven't really seen anything. Uh, but at the same time, we have to go back in town as I really want to try to get myself more food. As uh, you guys have seen that we don't really have any more on ourselves, right? So uh, let me make my way inside town. 
And while we're at it, actually, hold up. Let me make my way to the racetrack over here. I want to remove these tires from my uh, truck because I definitely don't like these ones. I want the truck to be able to also ride pretty fast when he's going on the dirt as well. Alright, buddy. Let's go with tires. Uh, these ones. That's what I want to see, buddy. And make them all full black. Uh, is that what I want? Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the tires that I want, right? Not the sticky ones. There we go, buddy. I think from all the vehicles that we have at the moment in our inventory, um, this one, the 4x4, is definitely the one that we keep on riding the most. I mean, it's not the 4x4, right? This is the pickup truck, but we transform into a monster truck. And this is definitely the one that we keep on riding the most while we're playing the game. Oh, wait, what is that? Need money? Call 191? 9124? What? What is this? What is this phone? Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's 191-9124. Huh. Let's call it. Let's see. Let's see what this is. I'm really curious. So it's um 191-9124. I'm really curious what this is. Is this a, like another hotline that we can call? Oh, sorry for the delay. Uh, I was in the hot tub. <laughs> You're calling because you need money, right? Well, you can have some of mine. I've got too much and it's causing me all kinds of problems. You can find it behind one of those advertising billboards along the highway. It's inside a red box. It is locked right now, but I will send somebody over to unlock it right away. Wait. What? What do you mean? The money is behind the... Um, a billboard. I'm confused. Uh, hold on a minute. What was this all about? Let me use the binoculars. Let me see if I can spot it. I mean, it did say that it's somewhere behind the billboard, right? But apparently it's not this one. So weird. Huh. It's behind the billboard. I'm gonna send somebody to unlock it. I got no clue what that is. I'm probably going to have to look around for more billboards, eh? Because apparently this is not the one that we need. <laughs> oh, man, I love that. All right, in that case, let me try to figure out where that billboard that he was talking about, where that's going to be located. Because apparently that's not the one. All right, we know we have another one over here. Supermarket, the place where food is sold. <laughs> Seriously, buddy. Of course it's the place where food is sold. All right, let's keep her going. Now, before I'm going to do anything, let me actually jump on the binoculars and look behind it. I mean, again, I don't see no path or any secret chests, so I'm guessing it's not going to be this one. Let's just keep her going. That is really weird, though. I was not expecting that dude to tell me that there's a secret chest somewhere behind the billboards. I'm guessing now all I got to do is just start chasing four billboards, eh? Uh, at the same time, hold up. Do we have anything new inside the warehouse store? The furniture store? The answer is no. no oh, never mind. We do have something, Lou. Look at that. This is a microwave. And of course, I do want to try to buy it. Hey, you can cook your meals as fast as ever in the microwave. Do you want to buy it? Yes. Man, this thing is as expensive as the phone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Uh, I don't want any extended warranty, though. No. And, of course, I also do not want any extra shipping. So, let's go with no. Alright, perfect. Hmm. I had no idea we we're gonna have, um... New things in the furniture store. But that's why, every single time we get an update, right? You All you gotta do is just uh, go around and investigate everything you can find. Because you never know when you're gonna be able to find something new in the game. And, at the same time, I'm pretty sure we have nothing to buy from, uh... This area anymore. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me make my way back in town and see what else we can find in here. Let's not forget, we're still looking for a billboard with a secret chest behind it somewhere. Not quite sure exactly when I'm going to be able to find that, but... First thing is first, I gotta go ahead and get myself more food, as uh, we have nothing at the moment. And you know what? Hold on a minute. I could actually go inside the diner and grab me more food here, because this stuff is all cheap. Actually, not cheap, more like free. Nobody gonna say anything if I just grab this stuff. 
Although, to tell the truth, I would imagine these people just see me going through their fridge and uh, call the comms because this is stealing. As long as they're not gonna see me, I guess we're gonna be good. There we go, buddies. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we can find right here. I'm pretty sure there are new things around town, but I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm supposed to look for them. Uh, what if I go and look for something back here? I mean, other than that thing, that sewer, there's nothing on this side. Alright, let's keep her going. Nothing on this side. And by looks of it, nothing on this side either. Hmm. I know for sure that the information for this update said that there's gonna be something new in town. But I really don't know exactly where I'm supposed to look for that new thing. Because I really don't see anything right here. Hmm. Interesting. What am I supposed to look for? Oh god, sorry about that buddy, sorry about that. Uh, I wonder, maybe we have new games in the arcades? Let's just try it out. Uh, nope, no new games in here and no prizes for this either. Okay. What about the coffee shop? Nothing new in here either. Hmm. Interesting. You know what, let me make my way to the uh, mayor then, in town, um, at the town hall. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to chat with the mayor. Oh, hold up. What is this? There's a question mark inside the bank. Huh. I was just away, I was just making my way towards the mayor because I was thinking that probably I'm supposed to chat with the mayor uh, to get something from them, but apparently there's somebody in town. Spaghetti entrepreneur. Hey, I'm trying to get a loan for my uh, spaghetti-based startup. The bank keeps uh, saying that my idea isn't economically viable, whatever that means. All I need is 1,000 coins, if I knew someone with that kind of cash. Uh, you look pretty successful. You might have a lot of business experience. Do you want to invest 1,000 in my spaghetti business? What? Are you kidding me? So are we just about to get ourselves a spaghetti shop? <laughs> you won't regret this. With your help, I'm going to have a lot... With your help, I'm gonna... You won't regret this. With your help, I'm gonna revolution... You won't regret this. With your help, I will revolutionize the spaghetti industry. Come with me and I'll uh, show you something. What? Oh, this door that we just saw. Apparently this one's probably gonna be the spaghetti shop. This is where I'm going to start my spaghetti empire. It doesn't look much, but I'm going to turn this place into something special. Hey, come back tomorrow morning and I'll have a business up and running. Are you kidding me? No way! So I knew it, eventually one of these buildings are gonna be turning into something. I wonder if uh, the entrance here, the back alley, is actually gonna become a main entrance for this spaghetti place? I don't even know. Hey, this is where I'm going to start my spaghetti empire. It doesn't look like much, but I'm going to uh, turn it into something amazing. Alright buddy, well I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what that's all about because I'm really curious right now. In the meantime, you know what, while we're at it, let me make my way inside the supermarket here for a second. Let me start getting ourselves uh, some oranges back again. I mean, in the first episode of this ep of this brand new update, we did see a billboard saying that oranges are the way to go. <laughs> and I haven't sold any oranges in such a long time. So let me go ahead and get myself more oranges while we're at it, why not? Come here, buddy. Come here. Perfect. Uh, let me start getting myself some food for my puppy as well while we're at it. So what these should do. And let me fill up my backpack with, I guess, everything I can uh, get my hands on. Just because we do need quite a lot of food here. We've been running quite low on food, eh? Alright, there we go. Everything that we need is here. Uh, let me give my puppy a little bit of food as well because he's gonna be starving. Good boy, buddy. Who's a good boy? Pixel is a good boy, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so of course we gotta wait until tomorrow to see what that spaghetti business is, and I'm actually quite curious to see what that's all about. Uh, of course we are gonna start being chased by cops, but if you guys didn't know... Actually, never mind, that didn't work. Only if you're crossing through the car, through that passageway, the cops are gonna stop chasing you. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, there's another cop coming in. There we go, we good. As long as you see them coming in, in time, you're good. Alright, perfect. 
Uh, so, what do we want to do next? I do want to start looking for more of those billboards, right? Until nighttime is going to arrive. Let me actually go ahead and start looking for more of those billboards because apparently there's going to be a billboard somewhere and that thing is going to be hiding another secret cache behind it. Somewhere, I have absolutely no clue where, but I guess we got to find it eventually, right? And I have a feeling we have to find him today if I want that uh, chest to be open today. And as fast as possible, drive on the highway to see if I can find something. So let me grab my fastest car then. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh God, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, buddy. Man, <laughs> this car is just so difficult to control. It's just way too fast. Look at this thing. All right, so we do have a billboard over here. Vacancy guaranteed the launch. Oh, you know what? There is a secret path through the back of it. I just noticed this. Are you kidding me? So apparently there's going to be a new secret cache all the way on the mountain roads. What? Look at all these coins. I love it. Man, this is so good. And we just got ourselves a new secret cache. Number 36 out of 36, of course. I love it. That is so cool. So cool. All right, well, in that case, you know what? Let me make my way back home, go to sleep, reset the day, because tomorrow morning we're going to be able to see what uh, that spaghetti business is all about. I'm uh, quite curious to see what that thing is. Hmm. Yeah, let me just skip it. I'm going to get back home, go to sleep, and see what the business is going to be all about. All right, wakey, wakey, pixel. Let's just see what's happening today. Apparently, this one is going to be a really rainy day. Uh, let me check the TV for a second. Let's check the... <laughs> oh, my God, look at the raccoons. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, I love it that they decided to go with these real scenes. Oh my god, this is so epic. Alright, so the weather, of course, is going to be rainy absolutely everywhere. And tomorrow is also going to be sunny. Game Show, welcome to another exciting episode of... The Game Show. Hmm, I don't really have time for this one, but we're probably going to have to check that out later on. Uh, let's see, three hakes. Retail price, 60, but their price is going to be 45. But I'm pretty sure they're also going to be requesting for 30 bucks to be delivered, right? So I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Hmm, yeah, I don't want to buy that, buddy. I don't want to buy that. Uh, what we want to do right now is just make our way to the town to see what that new business that we just invested 1,000 coins is going to be all about. Uh, just because... I feel like that's going to be a really awesome way to make a lot of money Stinky Sasquatch. I don't know if it's going to be the best new way to make a lot of money Stinky Sasquatch. Uh, just because I'm pretty sure it's also going to depend on uh, if we advertise the business or not. But, let me just see where it is. Oh, hold up. Mushrooms. Hold up, buddy. I want these mushrooms. This guy is just so fast that it's uh, sometimes it's really impossible to spawn these mushrooms around those we passing by them. All right, and this one is saying... What is this one saying? Oh, no way! Look at that! The arcades are being advertised. Are you kidding me? This looks awesome. <laughs> Super Quest, now at the arcades. I have a feeling these uh, billboards are probably going to be used in the future. Hopefully to advertise future updates. Um, I don't know exactly how they're going to work, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be yet. Uh, maybe the developers are not going to say anything in the future in Reddit or on uh, the post updates when they're updating the game and all they're gonna do is just let us know that there has been a new update in the game using those billboards hold on buddy let me give you a little bit of food here because we, ju we just woke up and I want to see what the spaghetti business is gonna be all about come on hurry up hurry up hurry up eventually I will get this fella to uh, level 60 uh, 16 to level 16 uh, no not the orange buddy I want to sell those things and another one there you go Good boy. All right, let's keep her going. Oh, no way. Look at this. We do have a new spaghetti business here. Are you kidding me? And apparently, this one is going to be somewhere that I'm going to be able to just deliver stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm guessing it's going to work like a restaurant, right? Like a uh, secret restaurant where people are going to be able to call this number and just simply order spaghetti. And then it's going to be my job to go ahead and deliver them. I'm pretty sure about it. Whoa, look at this place. What the heck? This looks awesome. <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit dirty, though. I really don't like the look of it. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to bring this guy a lot of tomatoes and spaghetti in order for the business to work. Hey, what do you think? It's pretty great, right? 
I'll be the only one in town selling spaghetti by phone, so uh, it's a huge untapped market. You get a cut of all my profits. Feel free to help yourself to the cash register. Uh, the cash register can only hold so much though, so don't forget to check in once in a while. I'm still waiting for my first customer, but I'm sure it won't be much longer. My phone will be ringing off the hook once word of mouth starts to spread. Oh wait, so I'm guessing this is where that billboard is gonna come in handy, right? I'm gonna have to put some announcements about this guy's phone, about this guy's business, and probably people are gonna start calling in? Hmm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a thing. This looks pretty epic though. Hold up, let me see. Of course, he has absolutely no cash inside. Oh no, never mind. He does have a little bit of cash. Uh, actually no. It just looks like it has some cash, but nothing. Huh. <laughs> I love that you can use the cash register though. This is so cool. Hmm. So what if I just go over here? I call this number, right? It's gonna be 555-7724. Let's just call it. Let's see what this is all about. So it's uh 7724. I'm really curious. I'm really curious to see. 7724, which is gonna be right over here. No, not this one, buddy. I need to use my phone. There we go. So again, it's 7724. Um, first of all, we gotta put in 555. 77. No! Stop! <laughs> we need 24 here. There we go, perfect. I'm definitely gonna have to give myself more minutes because my minutes are kinda going down. Hey, you reached Spaghetti Hotline. We deliver spaghetti directly to your location for only 100 coins. Would you like to place an order? Yes. Hmm, that sounds like you just nudded your head. So I'll assume that's a yes. <laughs> the spaghetti has been dispatched and will be arriving at your location shortly. Please stay in the nearby area so the delivery technician can locate you. Huh. So, oh, never mind. He's gonna be the one making the delivery. Hey, who's ready for spaghetti? <laughs> oh, it's you. Congrats, you're my first customer. Here's your spaghetti, pipping hot and fresh. Whoa, are you kidding me? Look at how cool spaghetti hand looks. <laughs> but I love it that he's delivering it in just a bag. <laughs> are you kidding me, game? Wait, didn't I get that back in my backpack? I don't see my backpack, what the heck? I think I must have not get it. That was so weird though. So, did he actually make any money now if I check this? Hold up, uh, cash. Mm, total zero. Wait, what? No refunds. Can we rip this off? Urgh. I cannot rip off the paper though. <laughs> hmm. Okay, anyway, I was really hoping I could actually get that stuff out of him, but apparently not. Well, if it isn't my favorite investor, I'll be honest, the business is not doing very well so far. But don't worry, I know exactly what the problem is. It's the sign on the outside of the building. People think my business is a joke. If I had money for a new sign, I'd be seeing more customers. So can I please have 500 coins to improve the business? Huh. I have a feeling this fellow gonna start asking me for money every single day <laughs> to try to improve his business a little bit. Hey, thanks, you won't regret this. Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready to go. Okay. I kind of like the look of uh, his hands, how he, how they glitch on the motorbike, though. <laughs> now, I have a feeling eventually, uh, I'm also going to probably be able to help this guy out, right? To be able to deliver, do the deliveries for him, so that he can start creating those um, orders. And that's probably going to be when I'm going to get myself a Vespa as well. That is so cool. Alright, anyway guys, that being said, I think it's going to be the end of this episode for now, and we'll come back the next one. You know what? I think I'm going to start investing more into this business. I do really want to see the spaghetti hotline just blow up, become absolutely insane, and hopefully this is going to be a way for us to make a lot of money. I don't know, but until next time, thank you all very much for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all next one soon. Bye everybody! With your help, I'm going to revolution- With your help, I'm going to- You won't regret this. With your help, I'm going to revolution- you won't regret this. With your help, I will revolutionize the spaghetti industry. Come with me and I'll uh, show you something.